Welcome back to South For Your Mouth. We're about to make a delicious cabbage casserole. I have sprayed a 9 by 13 glass casserole dish. And we're going to turn the oven on 350 and I'm going to start cutting cabbage. I'll show you in just a minute. I'm going to slice the cabbage. It's sort of tough, like, as it feels like. And then I'm going to chop it up like this. You do it really just like dicing it. Little wedges. Now you can do it however you want to do it. But then you just put it in your dish like that. And, uh, like here's a big wedge, so you just cut it in wedges. Then I turn it around the other way and cut it in smaller pieces. It cooks better if it's in smaller pieces. Just sort of mix it up like this. Divide it a little bit. I'm going to fill this dish up and then I'll be right back with you. I'm cutting up the last little bit of the cabbage to put in there. And see it's pretty full. You don't have to make this bigger one if you don't want it that big. You just want it in small enough pieces that it'll tender up. Next, I'm going to put an onion. It calls for a medium onion. This is a, a real big Vidalia. It's such a good onion that we got at the market. And um, I'm going to only use probably about that much of it. I'm going to dice this onion and sprinkle it on top. Dicing it in small pieces. And if any of your onion didn't get small enough, of course you can just turn it around and chop it. Because you want it just diced. And then we're going to sprinkle it on top of the cabbage. even it out. There's your cabbage casserole. Here's the recipe. Here we go, we're going to put some salt and pepper. Then we're going to make a topping to put on it. It takes one, one can of cream of mushroom soup, uh, excuse me, cream of chicken soup. You know, I bet cream of mushroom would be good in it. Yeah, it probably would. But this is cream of chicken. one cup of mayonnaise. With it. Stir that up real good. And then a half a stick of melted butter. 
you don't have butter, you can use margarine, it's fine. Really, you just get it on there, then we're going to spread it out. As it melts, it'll go all down through there. up a sleeve of Ritz crackers. I like the kind that's not wheat, but these are wheat. It may take a little bit over one because they've made the, the sleeve smaller. You can crush them up in, in the sleeve. I have the uh, Ritz crackers crunched up and I've added a more, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven more out of another pack because I just want to make sure I've got enough topping. You can crumble it like I'm doing right now. Seems like they've cut down on the size of boxes, you know, to what you used to get. To this, you're going to add a cup of sharp cheese, one cup, toss it around a little bit, and then I'm going to put, it calls for a stick of melted butter or margarine, but I'm going to do a half a stick. I don't know, I just don't want all that grease in it. Last time I did this, it was just enough, so I'm going to toss it and see what it feels like. It's going to be plenty moist, I think. Can you see how wet it looks? I think a half stick might be perfect. Maybe five tablespoons either. Okay, now you just sprinkle this on your casserole. Basically a crust. Mm, yes, like a crunchy top. Crunchy top. Yeah, that's what we did. Crust, but topping. Yeah. Perfect. Bake it at 350 for 45 minutes, then check it to see if it's tender enough for you. We're gonna put this in the oven, and when it gets out, we'll be back on. That is casserole is ready. You'll hear it cooking if you get close. Look at the cabbage casserole. Look down in there. Don't that look good? If you have never had this, you would love it. If you do taste it and your cabbage is not as tender as you want it, put it back in the oven. We did this. 45 or 50 minutes. Mm. This is good as a meal. You don't need anything else with it. Although, it would be good with pinto beans and tomatoes. <laughs> Everybody enjoy. Enjoy. You'll love it. Oh, I'm telling you, that's good. <laughs>